So by default, Windows really restricts what you can do on your computer. However, today we're going to be looking at a solution to that. WinArrow Tweaker allows you to have more control over the settings and customizability options of Windows. It's available for all Windows versions, it's free and open source and incredibly easy to use. It even lets you tweak hidden settings such as stuff in File Explorer, Start Menu and you can even optimize your performance through this program as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at WinArrow Tweaker and unleash the hidden powers that this program gives us. Before we get any further, don't worry, it's not a sponsor, but Notro Client. Lots of people have been asking me about that and I've been kind of leaving you guys in the dark about it. So look out for my video next week where we're going to be taking a look at the first beta version of Notro Client. It's been months in the making, I'm really excited to show it off. So make sure you guys get subscribed and turn on notifications so you guys can view the brand new version of Notro Client that's been built completely from the ground up. So yeah, look out for that. And let's continue with the video. Ah, oh, what have we got here then? Another bloated press install of Windows 11. We have a look at the taskbar here. Oh, so much bloatware. So much pre-installed apps. This is triggering me. 142 background processes. Two and a half gigabytes of RAM usage in idle. We've got Bing in the search bar. Ah, oh, how did we get here? All right, so before we do anything, let's sort out our bloated Windows 11 install. And for that, we're gonna be using the Chris Titus tool. So to get the Chris Titus tool, just copy and paste this code into your PowerShell and make sure it's open as administrator and it should open up. So yeah, I'm a massive fan of the Chris Titus tool. It genuinely halves your processes. On every computer now, I use this utility. It's so useful. Let's take a look at some of the new updates it's had. So we're not gonna bother installing any programs programs through here because we've got WinArrow Tweaker to check out. But yeah, let's go into the tweak section here and run the desktop tweaks here. So this selects pretty much all this stuff as default. Let's remove Microsoft Edge, Katana. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it on that. So let's go ahead and run the tweaks. Press yes to anything that comes up. And boom, the tweaks are finished. Easy. Now we can also add an ultimate performance profile to our power options here. So now if we go into power plan here, power options, ultimate performance, perfect. Probably not recommended if you're on a laptop. It's definitely going to reduce your battery life very quickly. But if you're on a desktop, definitely go for ultimate performance. We're going to set our updates to security recommended settings so we don't get any feature updates coming up and annoying us. So yeah, there's some pretty cool tweaks in here i definitely recommend chris titus text tool it's perfect honestly it is so good so now when we restart our computer our processes should have halved all right we're back we've just restarted and now if we go into our task manager and go here 72 processes ah oh, that is much better that is what i like to see so yeah we've debloated our windows we've removed all of the apps and stuff i did have to do it manually i am still looking out there if there is a program that can remove all these apps and adverts and pre-installed stuff for me but until then right click on install and chris titus's tool is pretty much what you need to do on a fresh install of windows right let's go ahead and check out win aero tweaker so to get win aero tweaker you need to go to their website i'll leave a link to it in the description down below it's pretty easy to install it will come up and say that this software is not signed so yeah you will need to allow it anyway run it and you'll get to this screen that we've got right here so this is what you first get when you open up win aero tweaker we've got our specs of our computer on the right hand side here we've got some menus here to be honest it does look a little bit scary when you first open it up we've basically got all our settings and tweaks and stuff on the left here look at how much stuff that comes with win aero tweaker this is insane this might be the most loaded optimization program i've ever tried now i'm not going to cover all of these tweaks in this video i'm just going to provide the highlights so since we've got a fresh install of windows 11 let's start off with the windows 11 section First thing we're going to do is we're going to set the classic context menu. By default on Windows 11, when you right click, you get this new menu. Really annoying if you're not used to it and it takes two clicks to do things in one click. However, with WinArrow Tweaker, with just one click, and if we just tick this box, restart our Explorer. And now if we right click on the desktop here, as you can see, we have got the old context menu back, just like in Windows 10. Perfect. Next up, we've got classic taskbar. Now, in order to use this, you need to get Explorer Patcher, but pretty much what this does is it brings back the Windows 10 taskbar, which personally I wasn't a fan of. So I think we'll keep with the Windows 11 one, but yeah, it's good to have that in here. Disable background apps. Yes, we're definitely gonna do that. Thank you. 
and we're also going to remove Windows Spotlight desktop icon as well. Right, so when I first installed this software, I wasn't sure why it was called Win Aero Tweaker. Well, if we go to appearance, you'll see it starts to make sense. So we've got this Aero Light theme here, which if we enable it, it actually transforms the theme of our Windows 11. So as you can see, our taskbar is now dark and translucent. If I open up a file explorer window here, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Not as nice as Rectify 11, which I'll leave a link to on the top right if you guys want to check that out and for all the people asking if you had problems installing rectify 11 go back to that video go in the description and i've put a special version of rectify 11 which i used in that video this will hopefully fix all you guys' issues you've had with rectify 11 so yeah i hope that helps you guys out right we can also enable and disable the dark theme through win arrow tweaker as well so if we just uncheck these boxes here as you can see we now have dark mode so it's a pretty crude dark mode actually as you can see we've got a white top bar here but yeah i think that's something to do probably with their theming but yeah if you haven't activated windows and you want to enable dark mode get win arrow tweaker it does it for you in one click we can also change our startup sound through here now i didn't actually realize i have a startup sound because i don't use audio on this computer so that's our current sound and we can replace it with a file on our computer and we've got theme behavior stuff here now let's go on to advanced appearance settings so you can actually change icons through here as well you can change the horizontal spacing of them, the vertical spacing. You can change the font of the icons as well, which is pretty cool. There's so many customizable options in this program. It's crazy. Now we move on to behavior. Ads and unwanted apps is our first one. So yeah, let's go ahead and tick that. And this will disable ads in Windows. Perfect. It's exactly what we need. So this stops unwanted apps installing automatically, changes the start menu suggestions, adds in file explorer. Is that even a thing? Welcome experience, adds, adds, personalized ads. Let's just tick all of them. Let's go for it. Now we need to reboot for this to take effect. So I'll just do that later. So yeah, there's lots of aero themed stuff in this program. If you're unsure about any of it, they do provide a good little description box here, which tells you exactly what it does. We can disable look for an app in the store, which is good if you just want to open something with a program on your computer and it just forces you to look for something on the Microsoft store. We can disable that. You can turn off driver updates through Windows Update as well through here as well. You can disable smart screen through here. You can enable emoji picker. I didn't even know that was a thing. So we can do that. We can disable error reports, keep thumbnail cache, and we've got a menu show delay here, which is pretty cool. So if you change this slider all the way down here to less, now when we open up menus, they should be really snappy. All right, we're gonna disable new apps notifications. So this is a good one. Show blue screen of death details instead of the sad smiley. Now, yeah, the sad smiley is pretty cute, but it's basically just going to show you the error code. So we know exactly what's caused our computer to go wrong. So we can Google that and find out the solution. Much better than having wasted screen space with a sad emoji. We can enable USB write protection, Windows installer in safe modes. <gasps> No way, we've got XMouse options. XMouse is an open source mouse control software. You can do some pretty cool things through there, like setting side buttons and stuff. And I think you can also disable your debounce time with XMouse as well, so you can do some god bridging in Bed Wars. Now we've got boot and login. So we can auto repair at boot. We've got some pretty cool boot options here. Turn on Windows 7 like boot menu. I might turn that on actually. We can change our lock screen background through here to a photo of your choice. We can disable blur on the sign in screen as well. So you can admire whatever image you've set as your lock screen. Or you can just disable the lock screen altogether. There's just so much stuff. Now this is a really good one. This is called verbose login messages. So basically when you turn off your computer and turn on the computer, rather than it just saying shutting down or whatever, it actually tells you what it's shutting down. And yeah, this is a pretty cool thing. I have it on my Hackintosh so I can always diagnose if something goes wrong. So why not have it in Windows? Why isn't this a thing? Oh, I've missed this. Do you remember the classic volume mixer? Well, it's back in Windows Aero Tweaker. Perfect, finally, disable web search. You don't know how many times I've searched for a file in the Windows search box and it's just open up Edge and search Bing. So we can disable that through Win Arrow Tweaker. Really good feature. We can change how many times the taskbar flashes when an application's doing something. There was just so much stuff here. It's brilliant. We can automatically open PowerShell as administrator, which is very good. And we can do it straight from the context menu as well. So we just right click PowerShell, runs it automatically as administrator, as you can see here, and boom, we're in. 
Oh, this is good. Screen snip. Oh, this is going to be very good. So we can just take a quick screenshot just by right clicking on the context menu. How cool is that? Oh, wow. You can even add shutdown to the context menu. You can have like a whole new workflow just from using this software. Right, now we've got some file explorer tweaks. Now, do this for all current items. Why do I have to do that manually every single file I move? Why don't I just set it as default? Boom, we can do that with one click with WinArrow Tweaker. Perfect. And even better, we can enable classic search in File Explorer. You don't know how much I've wanted this. So now I can actually search for a file and find it. We can select the starting folder for our File Explorer when we first open it up. I'm going to set that to this PC. So now when I open it, boom, straight in. And we can also customize our navigation pane through here with custom items. And we've got the default items as well, which we can disable. I do not want OneDrive. We can disable Windows Defender completely through this program as well. Although you do need to disable tamper protection. Otherwise, it's going to think that this program is a virus or something disabling Windows Defender. This can also protect you against unwanted software and adware, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure how good this would be. Let me know in the comments if you try this yourself. Now, we've got some Windows app stuff here. Disable Cortana. Yes, please. That is going. We're going to disable auto update of store apps. Although if you've got Minecraft, then uh, probably not a good idea. But I don't have it on here because this is a fresh install. We can disable the desktop shortcut creation after edge updates. Every time Edge updates, it always puts itself back on my desktop. So by disabling that with this option, it hopefully shouldn't do that. We can just disable Edge updates altogether through here as well. We can disable personalize your web experience. Honestly, all this is good stuff. I'm just going to disable this all. Disable telemetry and data collection. Yes, please. We can pretty much get any single settings thing and make it into a shortcut for the desktop. So if I wanted scale, for example, I'll just go ahead and select that, create shortcut. And now if I need to go into settings scale for whatever reason, double click on that, it takes me right to it. We can actually disable the shortcut arrow. So as you can see here on scale and screen snip, we've got this small little arrow on the bottom left here. So with Win Arrow Tweaker, we can press no arrow, restart our explorer and it's gone. Wow. These actually look like proper programs now. What? Now, we've got some tools here. Now, this is really cool. We can actually change the OEM information. So if you installed a custom operating system or you just want to change what your computer says, you can do that through here. So if we want to change our manufacturer to Dan PCs Limited, we can even change the logo through here as well. So now if we save the changes, as you can see, it's now a Dan V241. Brilliant. We can change the registered owner here as well. If, for example, it's in the old user's name, you can change that right through this program. Yes. And we can activate the original Windows Photo Viewer through here as well. So if we just go ahead and enable that. And it has made a return. Windows Photo Viewer is back. So yeah, a very, very very customizable program here to customize your windows yeah i don't think this is quite an optimization program more of a like a windows tweaker customizability kind of program i'm definitely going to install this on my main pc so yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope you guys all enjoyed this make sure to check out win aero tweaker i'll leave that in the description down below very good tool thank you to all the people that suggested i check it out in my comment section and now if you want to see a video on microsoft's attempt at a pc optimization software then click here and i'll see you guys there